What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here and today I'm going to show you a few cheats for Terraria 1.3 using Cheat Engine. The first one I'm going to show you is just more so for the beginners to show you how to have infinite health. For the next one I'm going to show you how to create it so that whenever you get hit you gain life instead of losing life. And for the third cheat it's more of just a way to show you how to dig more into the player class. So that's going to be going from the beginner cheat engine to like intermediate stage slash advanced to like advanced stage. All right. So for all you beginners out there, this is the one for you. What you want to do is go to cheatengine.org, download Cheat Engine, install it. And then once you've got it installed, go ahead and run it. You want to click this right here and look for Terraria in the list. So here's terraria.exe. If you don't see it there for some reason, you can click this button right here that says Window List, and you can look for Terraria here. And once you find that, go ahead and double click it, and there it's connected to Terraria. Now what you want to do is search for whatever amount of life you happen to have right now. So I have 100, so I'm going to do a first scan for 100. Next what I want to do is get hit by an enemy. So go ahead and get hit to lose health. So we're going to get hit by this dude here. All right. Now I have 89. So whatever life total you have now, search for that. I've got 89. I'm going to hit next scan here. And there we go. That's my life total. All I need to do for infinite health now is give myself 100, which it's going to change it right there. And then I can check this box right here. This locks the value. So now I can just get hit all day. And I won't lose any health. So there you go. That's infinite health. If that's all you care about, boom, that's done. Now, if you want to find how to make yourself gain life instead of lose life, all right, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and lose some life here, getting hit by these guys. All right, so I'm down to 45, all right? So now that I've found my health, what I want to do is right click here. I guess I could have done this instead of just sitting there getting hit, herping, derping. Uh, we could say, find what writes to this address. And what this is going to do is show us the instruction that writes to the, to, writes to the address whenever we get hit by an enemy. So let's go ahead and get hit again, and we'll see something pop up over there. Boom, all right? Sub EDX, all right, offset 310. What you can do here is say, show disassembler. And then right here, this is the op code, the instruction. So we'll go tools, auto assemble, template, code, uh, cheat table framework, and then code injection. You just say OK. Right here, this is the code we're going to change. So what I like to do is copy it. And then on the same line, I'll comment out the original code. And then, bam, get a replacement here. So instead of sub, we want it to add. So now whenever we get hit, it should add health instead of subtracting health. All right, now you go File, Assign to Current Cheat Table. Don't click Execute. Click Assign to Current Cheat Table. Now you can go back to your Cheat Engine table here. And we'll go Stop, Close there. And then this is where your script is. So you can enable it and disable it from here. All right, so what we want to do is take our health down to 1. And now let's enable the script. And if changing sub to add works, then whenever we get hit by this guy, we're going to gain life instead of lose it. So let's see what happens here. All right, there we go. So there's our cheat. Now we're gaining life when we get hit instead of losing life. That's pretty cool, right? So now we definitely won't die. <laughs> All right, so the last thing that I wanted to show you is... We want to see what other kind of information resides around this player class, if we can find that. So uh, what you want to do is right click and say find what accesses this address. And then we can click stop. So this is all the stuff that that's trying to read from this address, or it's writing to it or accessing it somehow, whatever accesses the address. We're looking for that. All right, so these three things are. and this address is base ESI plus offset 310. So just click on one of these, all right? And we want to look for ESI. So down here in this list, here's ESI, all right? So we'll copy this, okay? So here's the deal. This is ESI. ESI plus this offset of 310. So literally this number here, hex, 
this plus the 310 gives you this address. See, 1B684, that's all the same, and then this is raised up to this. So, anyway, all right, so now that we have our base of ESI, you can copy that, close this, go to Memory View, go to Tools, Dissect Data Structures, and because Terraria is a .NET based game, we're going to be seeing all kinds of good information out of here. Define New Structure. So I clicked Structures and then Define New Structure. You can just click OK here and Yes. And here we go. So this is our player base. So let's look for offset 310. That was our offset for health. So here's the offsets. Let's go to 310 and see what we see. 310 is here. Stat Life. There we go. That's our life. Stat Life Max 1 and 2. I wonder what happens if we change this to like 200. Look at that. See how we gave ourselves hearts there? Let's go for 400. And there we go. That's as if we had given ourselves, we found all the heart crystals. I'm going to take a wild guess that this one is going to be if we found the life fruit. Or not. <laughs> anyway, we see the deal. So now we could change our stat life here to 400. And now, let's see, oh, actually this right here, I guess that might be this actual string. There we go. Yep, so now we've got everything set to 400. So our health, let's uh, turn off our cheat. Let's see if we actually have 400 life. Yep, there we go. We're losing life from 400. So see how you can do all kinds of cool stuff like this, but there's all kinds of stuff sitting around here that you can modify. Just tons of stuff. So you can go looking through here and if there's something in particular you want to modify you can you know right click on it and say uh, let's see add to address list which will add it over here and that's when you can start modifying values and blah 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 and start creating array of byte scripts based on all this information you're finding. So there you go that's like the nitty-gritty on hacking around in Terraria and creating some unique cheats. All right. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be having a Terraria Let's Play with 1.3, and then I'm going to have some other cheats and different stuff like that. So if you had no clue what was going on in this video with the cheat engine stuff, make sure you check out my cheat engine tutorial series where I take you from being a beginner all the way to being a boss in cheat engine. So make sure you check that out. Thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.